Musk has been talking about leaving Tesla for a few years, especially after the Model 3 and Model Y helped the business establish financial stability. Perhaps most significantly, Musk said in court in July that I tried very hard not to be the CEO of Tesla, but I had to or it would die. So in this video, I will be sharing what the future of Tesla may look like without Elon Musk. Stay tuned. Tesla and Musk are inseparably linked. If Musk were to leave, could the company sustain its brand strength? Tesla without Musk is like Ford Motor Company without Henry Ford. It's unimaginable until it happens one day. The distinction is that when Henry Ford left, Ford was already one of the world's largest and most diverse automakers. Tesla remains a tiny electric vehicle firm with lofty ambitions. Musk is a charming figure with a vision that is somewhat contagious. He is similar to what Steve Jobs designed at Apple. But unlike Jobs, who groomed Tim Cook to succeed him as CEO, Musk has no one on the bench ready to take over as team manager. In 2018, he refused to appoint a clear number two executive, despite requests for him to appoint a chief operating officer with financial and manufacturing experience to expedite the manufacture of the Model 3 electric automobile. He has also replaced scores of other executives, making leadership upheaval one of the company's only constants. In my opinion, he has not fostered the next generation of managers and operators to propel the firm ahead, and it is all about him. In contrast, his other main firm, rocket ship manufacturer SpaceX, has a clear staff of well-qualified executives working behind the scenes to carry out his vision. Musk is more than just the firm's public face. Too many investors, he is the company. Elon Musk may appear inseparable from Tesla, but the company just provided the first true glimpse of what it may look like without its billionaire CEO. Elon Musk said during Tesla Incorporated's earnings conference that he would not be making quarterly calls in the future, but he will attend the annual shareholder meeting. He stated that he would not participate in earnings calls unless he had something significant to say. Tesla conducted its regularly scheduled conference call last week to announce its quarterly financial results, and guess what? Elon Musk was not present. He transformed what was typically a platform for his rants and ramblings, dismissals of Wall Street, and assaults on the press into a logical presentation of the company's recent success. It was almost as if the entire incident had been planned. There were fewer sideshows, and the tone was more measured. Tesla's chief financial officer Zachary Kirkhorn, together with Vice Presidents Lars Moravi and Drew Beglino, took Musk's position. The three raced through pre-submitted shareholder queries, as well as live banker inquiries. When questioned about the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration's autopilot investigations, they delivered diplomatic responses about how they welcomed the examination of goods and advocated collaboration. They also noted that Tesla is not only cooperating with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, but is also collaborating with the safety agency on the road to a software oriented vehicle. Kirkhorn reported that Tesla is being highly forthcoming about the continuing testing of the full self-driving beta software, despite previously requiring owners to sign non-disclosure agreements. Kirkhorn and his colleagues, like Musk, are still preoccupied with overgrowths. Kirkhorn reaffirmed the company's objective of increasing the number of cars built each year by half. The Model Y is poised to be the world's best-selling automobile, according to Moravi. Musk has given Tesla a lot of momentum, and the executives who have stayed with him have made it obvious that they will not let it go. Elon Musk, I believe, will quit Tesla in the coming years to focus on the SpaceX project, and Tesla investors are bracing for this. Despite the absence of Elon Musk, the scheduled conference call to disclose the company's quarterly financial results went off without a hitch. Elon Musk's social media presence has been contentious in the past since he has posted some distasteful things. For example, in 2018, 
the Securities and Exchange Commission sued Musk, accusing him of fraud and requesting that he be removed as Tesla's CEO and chairman. Fortunately for Elon Musk, he kept his job as CEO of Tesla. But I believe that if such an incident occurs again soon or in the coming years, Tesla investors may just vote Elon Musk out and construct a new structure and system that does not include the world's richest man, Elon Musk. Elon Musk, without a question, is a visionary who constantly brings about top-notch inventions. But with multiple other projects he is interested in, such as SpaceX, he may not be as concerned if he is not in command at Tesla again. That will be all for today's video. Thank you for staying tuned and see you next time!